Paper Mario, the only game where people's troubles are more important than progressing the storyline. So welcome back to Paper Mario and the Millennium Door. Looks like you've hit a snag, so... In this episode, we're going to continue with people's troubles, see if we can solve them. Or like, uh... Professor Layton and the Mysterious Sofa. I'm making up my own titles now. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually help some people right here. Safe delivery. This is Magoomba. <laughs> McDonald's. And I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Okay. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, like my serious illness and I killed a hooker, I can't be seen walking around Ho Rogue Ports. Meet with me behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Plaza. So, behind Z No, wait, I wanted to take it. I wanted to take it! Give me the key! Okay. So, I'm gonna cut to behind Zesty's place. And you don't really know where that is, so I'm gonna show you. Alright, so this Zesty's place right over here. This Gooba should be behind here. Freeze! Huh? I'm not frozen. You two, not another step! Don't come this way! Is that a woman or a dude? I can never tell, honestly. Eh, I'll give you a bisexual voice. Some complete jerk just pumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I I'm looking for it right now. Don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? Okay, I won't move. One hour later. This. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! Idiot, you stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? But. <laughs> I'd move. I didn't move for an hour. <laughs> this is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. My name is not Mr. Clumsy. It is Mr. Man. I can't, cause I don't have any contact lenses. Fine. That's your plan. Then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna plot the gate to the west side until you bring me new contact lenses. You have the worst voice imaginable. No! No! I didn't even need to go over there yet anyway. So yes, you do want to do that before you actually uh, leave for the second chapter, if you're just going to do that first. So we're going to go ahead and talk to you. Welcome! Yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Yeah, you have any contact lenses? Eh, what's that? You want a contact lens? Yeah. I said it twice. Well, actually, you said that I said it, then you said it, then uh, you're going to do something about it. We'll talk to your staff, see if we actually have any... Um, in stock, but whatever. Gee, fella, I'm sorry. We don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I could special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Come back soon, okay? Man, all you people has, like, mushrooms and honey. You ever think about band-aids or anything like that in the Mushroom Kingdom? Seriously, people get hurt. <sighs> okay. So, if we go back here, behind Zesty Shop, we can actually talk to this guy. You never know who will be watching. So let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goom Free. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. And try not to be seen. Try not to be seen with a box? Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm carrying government official stuff right now that I really should be carrying, but okay. Okay. This is the guy, right? What's in this box anyway? What? What is this? The thing Goom... Goom... Make Goomba ask you to deliver Goomfree. Wow, there's no real description with it now, is there? Exclamation mark! Yeah, hand in the box. The package. Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this thing in a way no one will ever find it. Tell Make Goomba I said so. And do me a favor. Forget all this. You hear me? It never happened, for your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give Make Goomba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done until you get my message to Make Goomba. So they're basically giving you a heads up that you need to go back to, and talk to the guy in order to get your reward. Which I'm gonna cut. I saved you people a whole 10 seconds. How do you feel? Did you deliver it? Phew, you saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck. You don't even have a neck. You get something good. 20 coins. Yeah, you're just like the other guy that kind of sucked back there, but whatever. I don't care. I got money out of this stuff. I wonder what was in that box. Was it like a head or something? Seriously, you people are sadistic, making me deliver boxes, finding house keys. What kind of missions are these? These are terrible. What kind of people are you? Ugh. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Let's just find a nice, nice decent meat mission. Uh, okay. Price adjustment. No, I'm going to skip that. Uh, let's do uh, Mayor Croup. 
Will someone please come talk to me, please? I'm waiting at the pink house in Pittleburgh. Pink house in Pittleburgh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna quit the mission that I just did because I really want to cancel it, and, uh... 30 coins?! 30 coins?! What?! That's ridiculous! I quit... Uh, uh, I quit it mostly because I really wanted to uh, do that one later. Because there's actually going to be a easier way for us to do that mission. And it won't take as much time to actually get over to Pellberg. That way we can actually do it a little bit more efficiently. And stuff. So I'm actually going to take this one in which we actually have to go to Hooktail's castle. This guy basically wants us to find him within the depths of that freaking place. So I'm going to cut to the room where he actually is in. And trust me, it's going to take a while. Okay, so if you remember this room with the green block, what we have to do is elevate ourselves up, and then go to the left a little bit. There you'll see a Koopa. That's the Koopa that we need to talk to, so commit suicide! Okay. Blast! So, you found me. Curses! I felt sure none would ever find me here. I'm a master, you see. I love sneaking and hiding so much, I just never stop. Wow, you have an addiction problem. It was a hobby, but then I kept hiding it soon. I was known as the hide and seek Koopa! Koopook? That's her name? Koopook? <laughs> oh my god, you have the worst name ever. I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when we were barely a shell high. Shell high? Shell high? Koops, is that you? Yes, Koops! The same Koops always tried to had to be it when we played hide and seek. But you never found me. Not even once. I can't believe you actually did it. Yeah, I remember back then. That one day you hid and no one ever found you. And then you stayed there for a fortnight. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Ever since that day, I've played hide-and-seek and snuck hid in my way through life. Well, that's one bad life you must live. Yep, that was a crazy day. Yeah. But since you found me in this time, I'll give you a reward like I promised. And you get the special card. A parlor game that lets you play a game. Pay the game. You mentioned you're playing a game. I found this while I was traveling and hiding around the world. I don't need it. Well, I don't need it either, because I don't know what I'm going to do with it, so... Bye. Oh my god, I committed suicide for the first time. First suicide of the game. Death counter. One. So, we're actually going to go backtrack to... Uh, uh, road port. So, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so in all honesty, I feel kind of bad for letting you guys... Keeping you guys hanging on for so long. So, we're going to head off to the Thousand Year Door. And see what mysterious secrets lie behind the door. And what will happen when we give it the crystal star. Who knows? Find out in a few minutes. Not in the next episode. Because this shiz is happening right now, son. Yes, it is. Okay. So, we can actually slip through this and actually go a little bit faster than we usually would. Because, you know, slipping is faster. Slippy. So, if we go through here, I think there's actually something we can get. No, we can't get this yet. Oh, my God. Not more spikes, not more spikes. Oh my god, not more spikes. Whew. Is there anything through here? No, it doesn't look like it. it looks like jail. <laughs> let me let me play, play jail for me. Help! I'm stuck in here! D damn it, I was framed! I was framed, I swear! Okay. <laughs> that was fun. I just had to do that. Because I'm a I'm a jerk like that, I tell ya. Alright. So now that we're down here, we're gonna be doing some more stuff. We can actually slip through there, but we're just gonna ignore that for the time being because no, I'm losing my dough. I don't know what that is. But anyways, let's go to the Millennium Door. Now, Koops. Now, we must go to the Millennium Door. Now! Because I can't take this crap anymore. I'm tired of the random encounters. Okay. So, if we go over here, once we're in the room, and once the room's actually loaded, we can actually slip this bar, jump on the spring, you can use this paper airplane panel, and I just love doing this every time I go to the Millennium Door. Watch. Lands you directly on the podium, right there. It's just perfect. Um, alright Mario, hold up that crystal star. You got it, my pal, Koops. You got it. It's so shiny! It's so shiny! This is awesome. Ooh!
location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Hey, uh, Mario, look there! The next crystal star showed up on the map! Wow! Captain Oblivious, once again! But I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I don't have a clue where that is. Shame, Coops, for shame! Um, I think maybe we should take the professor- How do you know about Professor Frankly? We never talked about him to you! How do you know about him? Is he like this world-renowned professor? What? You've been talking to Mario behind my back, Coops? Ah, hmm. hmm. <laughs> uh, Frankly! I see, I see! Crystal clear! Um, so can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? You're worthless if you can't, so, you know. It's in the second Wagley. It's in the Wag. I can't talk! The it's in the Boggly Woods. The second crystal star is inside the great tree there. A great tree in Boggly Woods, huh? Yeah, that's what he said, Coops. How about those woods? I think some odd creatures live there. And you just happen to have a picture of them, bravo! If your memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Ah, convenient. A uh, professor, you should probably know. It's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her just recently. I love how my name's Mr. Mario, not Mr. Man anymore. People have learned. They have respected me. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. It's a windowless room with just a mirror. How do you get out? You use a freaking hammer, bitch! <laughs> Oh-ho! Uh -huh. If Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the Crystal Stars, what could they hope to achieve? How could, could the treasure be- Ah, too many unknowns! Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the Crystal Stars and that map. Yeah, well... All we got next is to head off to Boggly Woods to find the next Crystal Star, kind of like Coop said right there. Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the Princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. Okay. So now that we've talked about uh, to Professor Frankly, we're going to talk to this trash can right here because it has a very important information. So this scrap of paper in the trash can will automatically be loaded after you've encountered an enemy you can only encounter once in the entire game. So we've encountered a red bone who so will never see another red bones again. Thus, an information piece of paper has been added to our catalog from this trash can. There's also a page from Hooktail, which means we'll never fight him again, and we'll never fight Gus again. So, yeah. Also, if you look up there in the corner right there with that sun, moon, and that what look appears to be a... ...and a star. Ah, oh, crap, I gave away what... ...which appears to be that weird creature and a star is actually plays a very significant role in the upcoming chapter. If It will really help you if you can actually remember this for a very long time. So if you want to take a note what it looks like and what order it's in, yeah, please do so. That would very much be appreciated for you. Your uh, gaming pleasure. So now that we've actually gotten a couple of Shine Sprites, what we're actually going to do right now is go ahead and talk to Merlin. If you have play watched my Super Paper Mario Let's Play, this is actually Merlin from that game. So he's going to actually part power up our party members. All you have to do is give him three Shine Sprites. Shazubi! Okay. Shazubi! Shazubi Zubi Zoo! Where are you? We're in some kind of freaking space now. Powering up Koops because he sucks. He's going to pray to muck now. I don't know. Then you may go. So, Koops now has 15 HP, as you can plainly see up there. Look at that. Koops is a boss now. He has almost as much HP as I do, but he doesn't because he sucks too hard right now. So, now that we've done that, we got to figure out a way to get over to the Apocalypse Woods, and I got to stop going the wrong way because we keep going the wrong way, and that's not good for my health. So, we now got to go to the place that we need to be. So, if memory serves you correctly, we actually saw one of those creatures before, and we will be going... Well, actually, you know what, let's, let's take a little detour before we head over there. There's just so much to do in this game, and I love it! I love it! Okay. My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. They're so shiny. 
So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay! Come on, let's trade. I'll do it. Which badges do you want to trade for? Okay, so if you get star pieces, you can actually trade for items that will very be very helpful. Right now, I want the peekaboo badge because this right badge right here is very helpful. What this does is actually reveals uh, an opponent's HP gauge. So if we go ahead and traded those uh, star pieces, we only have two at the time right now. So we're gonna put on that peekaboo badge. Uh, might get rid of the power bounce just for a little while. I don't really think I need it. And put on the multi bounce. There we go. So now that we're that completed, we will be ascending back to the place that we actually need to be. Okay. So let's go down the pipe, and we are going down the toilet's pipe. I don't know. I don't know if Mario's like a drain cleaner. Apparently, that's his actual job as a plumber. You know, he like spins around there. He kind of, I don't know, maybe he'd be a drain cleaner of some kind. It'd be kind of neat. And that was one of the things that we were supposed to find, but I'm not. I'm gonna ignore it. Hey, Mario, you see the thing? Damn it, Coops, why do you have to point it out? That was one of the things Professor Frankly mentioned. Yeah, I have eyes. Apparently you don't, because your other eyes have closed, but whatever. There it is! Quick, catch it! Catch it, catch it, catch it! Get a net, get the net, Coops, get the net! Eek! Well, you have your own backtrack music? Awesome. Did the don't eat me? Huh? Huh, you didn't come to eat me? Yeah, you look pretty disgusting. You look like a slug, uh, some kind of slug. And you're not bullies? I'm not a bully. For real? Whew, boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. Goodness knows we don't want that. <laughs> um, aren't you one of the creatures from Boggly Woods? Or are you down here? Good question, Coops. Why do you want to know <laughs> No! No, you, you, you must be! You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me down here! No, it's the end! x snot. What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. Get it? x snot. <laughs> Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. This gang of bad guys came and called themselves x snots <laughs> Tissues. Came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and star started tearing it apart, causing trouble. Well, that doesn't sound good. So I came all the way here looking for help. And yet, you'd run away from the people that th you think would help. Good sense of logic! A bunch of bad guys in the Great Tree? If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the Crystal Star! Way to get put two and two together, Coops. Now that you mentioned it, they did say something about the Crystal Star thingy. Thingy? But we punies don't know anything about the Crystal Stars, Crystals or Stars. Well, evidently you do, because uh, you have it. Uh, Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you, uh... A life Spy of Mushrooms. What was it? The Crystal Star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. Whoopee. What do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you! Okay. Sounds like a plan. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Yeah, we have to wipe these guys out somehow, and... 2 plus 2 equals, uh... Six. Um, I guess we should. I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we don't need... Plus, we don't... We do need to get the crystal sauce before those X-Not guys do. X-Guys. <laughs> it's not, Koopa! It's not! That's not right. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. Or is it Punio? You know what? I'm gonna call you Punio, because that sounds cooler. Okay, Punio. It's this way. Because, you know, it sounds like a pun off of Mario's name, and, and I kind of like that. There's a badge up there, and we're gonna get that, so... Okay, what What else? Wait, hang on a second. Why couldn't you do that in the first place? I'm sure the puny el punny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! Wow. Okay, so... There's a secret entrance over here. Oh, isn't that awesome? But if we go over here, the way you couldn't possibly see it without uh, just trying, we can actually get this badge, the damage dodge. Decreases the damage by one with the guard action command. So if we put this on and we use the guard command, we can actually, uh, you know, guard and actually deflect some more damage. But we're not going to be able to put that on right now, so the next step boost, we will actually get some more BP because we have quite a few badges that will be of help. 
you can get to the woods that the punnies live by going through that pipey there. Okay, hurry, hurry, before it's too late. All right, so I take it this little guy is going to follow us. So in the, if you liked this episode of Paper Mario and the Millennium Door, please subscribe, favorite, like, or just comment. So I'll see you guys next time with this very abrupt ending when we head off into the next area of Paper Mario and the Millennium Door. I will see you guys later. I will admit this little guy is freaking cute.